Hey you guys, welcome back to PJ's Place. Come on in. All right, I am back with another quick wig review or show and tell. And the wig that I'm going to be reviewing today is by Outre. It is part of their Anne Play line. And um, this is the packaging that the box, or the box that the wig came in. I have not taken it out of the box yet. This is part of their bundle edition. Um, uh, I have it in the style Natural Deep Wave, and I have it in the color Owen Burgundy. I thought that the packaging was pretty cool for a synthetic unit, so I wanted to show this to you. I have seen a few um, reviews on other wigs in the Anne Play line. I don't know for certain if they were also the Natural Deep Wave style. They may have been. I'm not for certain, but I was really impressed with how the wig looked in the photo. So this is how it looks. I did order this wig on ElevateStyles.com. I will leave a link down below in the description box um, directly to the wig and to uh, the Elevate Styles website. Now, one thing I do want to tell you about this wig, they refer to it as a human hair Optimix. This is a human hair and synthetic blend, so it's essentially a synthetic unit. It's not full or complete human hair, but whenever you hear that kind of play on words, human hair Optimix, or they may use another term, they're just letting you know that this is human hair and synthetic hair blended together. Um, this wig is called, or it claims to be a 360 unit um, 360, if you don't really know what that means, is they say that it's a frontal actually online. And um, this is in the color OM Burgundy. It has dark roots um, and it goes into a transition into a burgundy color. It's a 13 by 4 inch parting space and they do refer to it as a frontal. So I'm going to show you what it looks like as I take it out of the package right now. So another thing that I thought was pretty cool about the wig is how um, it just, they have it in here all pretty. I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. And look at that color. I'm really impressed. So, um, as I stated, I have not taken this wig out. As a matter of fact, I guess I'm going to unattach the wig and I will come back and show it to you. But I kind of wanted to, you to see how it looks while it's still in here. So, oh, there we go. Sorry, y'all. This is real life. Okay, so this is how it looks. It still has the netting on it. Um, but I'm really impressed with the waves and the bundles and look at that beautiful color. I just love, I love that burgundy and dark roots are always my favorite. Um, but it's supposed to have a really natural looking human hair line, hairline. I believe that they, this wig claims to have, uh, yeah, a natural parting space. Um, it's supposed to be pre-tweezed, the hairline, and I will say that right now the hairline does look pretty good. It does, and it has a 13 by 4 inch parting space, and all that means is that the parting space is about 13 inches in the center, and then you get about 4 inches on the sides, and then they claim it's a, uh, a 360, but you, if you look at the cap construction, um, you see that it does have a regular like wig cap on the center and you get the netting around the back. So if you want to try to put this up in a ponytail, you can. I'm not going to be doing anything like that. You know, I'm just not that advanced. But um, I will say, again, you can see my hand under the hairline. It looks pretty good. I'm really kind of impressed. So here again, it does say that this unit is um, heat safe up to 400 degrees. Um, it comes with a pre-tweezed hairline, 13 by four inch lace frontal. It's a human hair synthetic hair blend. I have it in the color OM slash burgundy. And the style is a natural deep wave. So I just kind of wanted to give you this overview. And also it does come with the, the combs in the front and a comb in the back. It does have an adjustable strap in the back. And uh, yeah, that's that's really about it. And here is how the description card looks. It does come in a lot of different colors. And um, yeah, I picked it up on Elevate Styles. I do love these these beachy waves, these deep waves. It is, um, it call, they call it a natural bundle wave or natural, yeah, natural bundle wave is the style. So hopefully it'll look like that when I put it on. But my first impression is that I do love the curls. It looks a little bit shiny to me. I, w I just will say that. I wouldn't say that it's like a yakky texture. Well, maybe a light yakky texture. But um, yeah, that's just my overview. So I'm going to put the wig on and let you see how it looks on my head. And I'll be back in just a minute. So don't go anywhere. Okay, you guys, I am back and I have the wig on. And let me start by just giving you my first impression of this unit once I cut the wig, uh, cut the lace off of the wig. Um, I do like the unit. I will say that now when you purchase a wig that tells you that you're going to have a pre-pluck or pre-tweezed hairline that looks really, really natural. For me, I'm always comparing those wigs to the 
sensational what lace line simply because they have really really set the bar so high over at sensational when you see a natural pre-tweezed pre-plucked hairline title on a synthetic unit you're almost kind of always in your mind comparing other wigs to that so that's unfair but that's just the reality of the way it is and this is not a sponsored video so i'm just giving you my opinion so with that being said i do like the wig but i am not as satisfied with um the hairline or I was not as satisfied when I took it out of the box immediately I did feel that I needed to do a little bit of work on it so with that being said if you're new to wigs and you're not really used to plucking hair or trying to do baby hairs and you don't want to do that then this may not be for you but I do like the, uh, the wig overall I am so in love with this color I think that the color is just beautiful it is gorgeous it is I could see this wig if you're going to an outdoor event it's an all-white event but you want to have a pop of color this is the wig for you and I don't really wear long hair wigs but sometimes for a special occasion you may want to just really make a statement and this is it so one of the best things about the wig is the color um, I love the dark root I'm gonna lean forward to let you take a look at uh, the hairline because I did go in and pluck some of the hair um, I did pluck some hair and I created a little bit of um, a part I plucked a little bit of hair out of a, a line to make it into a part and put some uh, Maybelline fit me powder in that part to make it look a little bit more like a part for me instead of just having it all brushed back You can always do a half half up half down hairstyle with this. I love the waves in the hair This is like deep bundle hair uh, Wavy or yeah deep body wave hair. I do love that and the hair is a little bit on the silky side I would appreciate the wig more I guess if it were more of a yakky texture I don't even mind sometimes when a unit has a little bit of crinkles in it because to me it just looks more natural um there's not much of a shine i don't know how shiny this wig is coming off on the video or in the camera but um if it is a little bit shiny for you you can always use some baby hair or excuse me baby hair baby powder or some dry shampoo so that's always good i do feel that outre did a good job of putting a good amount of hair on this wig so the density is pretty good i would say about 100 50 120 percent it doesn't feel thin you don't feel like you're gonna see tracks um, or anything like that as far as the tangling this wig does a little bit of tangling which you're going to have that but as you can see like right now I am running my hands through the unit the wig um, now it is shedding but um, the tangling is not that bad just always make sure that you have your um, your paddle brush or whatever because you're gonna have some tangling you're gonna have some tangling you're gonna make sure you want to have a brush or something with you but um, as far as the the, the uh, shedding I had a lot of shedding and you're gonna get some shedding and you're gonna get some tangling whenever it's a long hair synthetic wig we've talked about that before so that's kind of to be expected um, I'm gonna stand up to let you see how long this wig is and where it falls on me I'm 5'4 and it comes a little bit below my bust line so it is pretty long but um I think that's okay if you're just you know it's not gonna be an everyday wig not for me anyway so if it's not an everyday wig it's okay but I mean hey you may want to wear it every day and that's okay they have a lot of colors and I think that that's a great option for those who want to do that um, overall I do like this wig it is moderately priced uh, meaning it's not cheap or inexpensive it's about 45 50 dollars or so but I think it's a good investment it will probably last if you're not wearing it all the time I don't wear my wigs all the time I have certain wigs that I rotate out and then I have like daily everyday um, human hair wigs that I may wear for work so for the most part I do like the wig I think that it is a it's a good find um, if you would like to get more information about this wig I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description box to elevate styles um, and I would like to say thank you so much for coming back to visit me here in PJ's place I hope you come back to see me here in PJ's place um, please like share and subscribe and until another video or wig review that's that